I'm Tracy Bankster in the Times Herald Record Newsroom with this News Watch update. It has been anything but a routine day at the Valero convenience store on Route 302 in Circleville today. That's because somebody bought the only winning ticket there for last night's Mega Millions drawing. The ticket's worth $326 million. There was plenty of buzz inside the store today as store employees and store patrons await word of the mega winner. It's been crazy. Uh, uh, a lot of people come, a lot of curious people. Everybody asks who won, and uh, we just don't know that yet. Hopefully they'll come forward soon. The Valero gas station store will get a $10,000 bonus for its role in selling the jackpot winning ticket. A Middletown man has been identified as the victim of the one-car crash on Route 17M in the town of Goshen last evening. 30-year-old Michael Cotton was a passenger in a car that veered off the road and flipped over in the parking lot of Hudson Valley Landscaping. Cotton was pronounced dead at Orange Regional Medical Center. The driver, 23-year-old Andre Davis of Middletown, suffered non-life-threatening injuries. And he served six months in jail for keeping his dead mother in a freezer on his porch for nearly a year and a half. That was back in 2009. He did that in order to uh, cash her Social Security checks. Now 75-year-old Roland Oslander of Cooks Falls is once again in trouble with the law. Oslander and his girlfriend, 47-year-old Wendy Cavanaugh of Roscoe, have been charged with grand larceny. Uh, the pair, according to Sullivan County Sheriff's deputies, are accused of using Cavanaugh's deceased mother's debit card to uh, withdraw money from the bank. Cavanaugh's mother, Betty Cox, had passed away at her Roscoe home September 30th. With this News Watch update, I'm Tracy Bankster.